Cool doggy, I tell you what. Bowser is getting big. Of course, he's my alligator snapping turtle. Look at that prehistoric animal right there. Tell you what, these guys can live up to 200 years. He's only 42 years old now, so he's gonna be around a long time. But the truth is, is I have a little bit of an issue. I'm trying to deciding what to do. Okay, Bowser. Whew. I tell you what. That animal is getting heavy and it is an absolute beauty. But you know, this is one of the show pieces of the Reptarium. As soon as you walk in the door, you see this and you see Bowser. And a lot of people absolutely love Bowser, but the truth is, is that a lot of times, he just kind of sits around. And when he's sitting like this, oftentimes people actually come up and they don't realize that he's actually alive. They think he's like a statue, right? And you know, when you want that show piece, I love the waterfall, I love this whole thing. You want some kind of action, right? And we tried to put fish in here before, that didn't work out too well. First, there's a red tail. It's a red tail cat. Look at that. Oh, I love that. It's such a beautiful fish. <laughs> Another awesome thing added to the rep here. I'm so excited about this. We came in this morning, and unfortunately, the Oscar and the catfish were eaten. We decided we were going to move the fish over to RJ's pond. Oh, my gosh. All right, hold on, hold on. Hold on, man. So we're definitely not making that mistake again. Although there is a fish in here named Jonah that seems to live with Bowser fine. Uh, right there, there's Jonah. Hey, Jonah. So what to do with this enclosure, right? Originally, I was thinking maybe I would take Bowser off a of display and actually fill up the water and put a fly river turtle in here. No doubt we're gonna add a fly river turtle to the Reptarium, but I'm thinking maybe we save that for upstairs with the aquarium side. I'm not 100% sure, but I did end up talking with my buddy Kevin over at Nerd the other day, and he made a really good suggestion that maybe I could put a couple big northern common snapping turtles in here too. Now again, they're not alligator snapping turtles, they don't get quite as big, but they're still pretty impressive, and the thing about those is they move around a lot more, and they can get along with alligator snappers, you can keep them communally. So the question is, do I do something different? Do I take them off, put a fly river in here, or do I potentially keep him in here, do I put a couple other big Big common snapping turtles that are going to be a little bit more active. Maybe even albino common snapping turtle. I don't know. I think it might be a good idea just to fill it up a little bit. I'm not sure. I need your advice because I always want to make the Reptarium the most awesome place possible. And hey, this enclosure I love so much and I love Bowser, but it's not quite as exciting as I want it to be. So let me know in the comments what you think I should do because I'm open for suggestions. Feeding a couple snakes, including my guy Bugatti the Bolens Python. Now with this one, typically when it's taken out of my hands, I have to tease it just a little bit and it just started taking it out of my hands so let's see what it does now it definitely seems very very interested but like I said when it gets to this point a lot of times it gets a little bit freaked out and it doesn't grab it so sometimes I have to do a little bit of teasing with it just like this just like that and that, there it goes it took it right like that whoo I tell you what, is that snake absolutely stunning? So that's a little trick when a snake seems like it wants to eat, but it's like tentative, is you just tease it just a little bit. You don't beat the snake up by any chance, but you just give a little wiggle, kind of goes, all right, now I better grab this thing. But Bugatti is crushing it, and it's absolutely beautiful. And just like with Bowser, not a day goes by that I'm not thinking about how we can improve the Reptarium that it is now, and also the expansion, what we're gonna do. I keep telling everyone that we're gonna go that way and then we're gonna go up, right? Well, obviously right now, that way is the tortoise pen, and you know, there's really not enough space here for a doorway, right? So what we're gonna do is actually, Lucy's cage is gonna get moved down this way. So what we'll do is we'll move these two cages with Casper and Sunrise. Not that they're gonna get moved out, they'll actually be probably next door in the 3.0 expansion, but these enclosures will get moved out and probably get moved next door. Lucy's enclosure will get moved down to here. That way we can have the opening like that basically starts here and goes all the way over to here that you can walk through. And actually this spot here will be a lot like Diddy and Dixie's cage where there'll be another enclosure in the window itself, which means that we're going to have to build a new area for the tortoises too, which is good because to be honest with you, Matilda is getting pretty big. She's going to need a larger enclosure. So now we can dedicate more space to a tortoise enclosure for Matilda. So again, there's always this constant evolution of things not only how to make the Reptarium that is existing now better, but also thinking about the expansion and how we're gonna make that so much awesome. I mean, th the future is amazing, guys, and I never stop thinking about how to make it even more awesome. Always stoked when we have baby ball pythons, or any baby snake hatch for that matter, or born for that matter, too. These actually are that genetic stripe that was bred to that banana pastel 
G-stripe. So all of them are G-stripe, and then we have a combination of things. So this is a normal G-stripe right here. And this is just a recessive mutation here. And these two beautiful monkeys right here are actually pastel G-stripe. And the pastel just really cleans it up and makes it kind of cool. You can see the difference between the normal here and the pastel G-stripes, how the, the patterning and the color and everything else changes. Makes it really crazy. Now this is one of the beautiful animals here. This is just a normal banana G-stripe. Again, everything in the clutch is going to be genetic stripe because it was a recessive mutation and both of them were genetic stripes, but this is the banana G-stripe. And then just like the pastel G-stripe, the pastel G-stripes kind of get blown out as well and just kind of look way more faded and stuff like that. Nevertheless, absolutely gorgeous clutch of snakes. I mean, look at these beautiful monkeys right here. Just absolutely incredible. Now these guys will shed probably in about a week and then they'll feed within three or four days of then. So about a week and a half or so, we hopefully get the first meals in these guys. And then we always feed them about three to four times before they actually go up on the website. So it's gonna be cool that not too long from now, maybe a month or so from now, you're gonna actually start seeing new 2021 baby pythons on BHB's website. Ooh, it's so weird when you just zoom in, like I know what you're doing. We're just feeding bugs today. Today they're getting fed some super worms. So we're gonna feed off some bugs to some ants. So we're gonna start with the leaf tail. Any day now. Ah, uh, yeah. Professional. Sit and try to feed tongue a bunch of these animals that normally wouldn't get fed tongs. They're fed off of the tongs. So, uh, lots of progress with the animals. I don't even know what to talk about. Knock, knock. Oh, that didn't sound so good. Nope. Knock, knock. You want this? They sound really mad. You want this? You. Ah! Oh, wait, there he is. Here, you want this? There's a fresh one. Okay, ooh. Supper's hot. Oh, don't jump. Don't come off. These things are so freaking fast. We never really tried to tongue feed them yet. We're still letting them kind of settle in because they are still relatively new. It's only been a week. We usually just put the cup of food in there and they'll come and eat whenever they want. Next ball python clutch should be a banger. Absolutely be a spinner female. Looks like she's wrapped around some good eggs and she was bred to this vanilla red stripe. So the red stripe stuff is really cool. The vanilla stuff is actually a really cleaning enhancing thing. Then of course we have the pinstripe and the spider when it comes to the female. So should be some pretty cool combos. Let's see what mama has. And it looks like mama is not happy right now. Up. Tell you what, let me clean this lens off. She got a little bit of goop on there, so let's go ahead and try to see if we get her off without her getting her too unhappy with us. It's okay, mama. Looks like a fresh clutch of eggs. I mean, literally just laid. Because you can still kind of see a little bit of the egg is hardening right now on this egg right now. So this was definitely the last egg laid right here, so absolutely wonderful clutch. I'm gonna love the combos that are gonna come out of this because red stripe mixed with all of those genes, gonna be incredible. Then you add that vanilla gene in there, gonna be awesome. We've got two, four, Six, eight beautiful eggs. I tell you what, this year is definitely shaping up to be a banger. Next animal we're actually feeding is my girl Verde here, and she is definitely looking like she's interested in food. Come on, Verde. Come on, you want food? Come on, baby. All right, way to go. If you guys are missing the feeding videos, let me know down in the comments if you want an entire feeding video. Maybe in the next week or so, I'll do the feeding all of the zoo if you want to. Comment down below if you enjoy that. Next up, we actually have an albino that is a hat for scaleless that's bred to an albino scaleless corn snake. Always a beautiful snake, there's no doubt about that. It looks like we've got a couple sluggers in here. Kind of a mixed bag, to be totally honest with you. And she's actually kind of more like almost a creamsicle looking animal right there. We'll get mama all cleaned up, get her some fresh water, get her some food in the next couple days. And let's see just how many eggs we actually have in here. Like I said, it's a mixed bag. We have some good ones and we have some bad ones for sure. There's, uh, let's see, two, three, four, five, six seven good eggs and it looks like we have uh, that's, uh, I don't think that's a good egg right there looks like we have four sluggers right there so not a great clutch but not too bad seven good eggs four bad eggs uh you know I'll take it it's not the best but I'll take what I can get next up we actually have a het hypo diffused corn snake again that diffused corn snake is what they used to call blood red corn snake and it's actually bred to a plasma which is actually a blood red lavender we'll just see she's got some big eggs in here not a lot of eggs but some big eggs she's not a really big girl uh, but she only has that many eggs. We'll go ahead and take her out. And you can kind of almost see a little bit of that diffused 
bleeding through. Sometimes the head diffuse actually will have a little expression, and the head itself is something that really is different with the diffuse corn, although this one has total side pattern, whereas the diffuse corn has kind of a diffuse side pattern, hence the name diffuse corn. So we'll get mama back in here, get her nest box in, get her all cleaned up, get her some fresh water, all of that good stuff. In the meantime, we'll take a look, and she has two, four, five eggs. So definitely a small clutch, but hey, no slugs, and that's awesome. Sorry, I was actually excited about this. I know exactly what it is. Julian from Dreamscape Dragons actually did this for me, and I want you to open it because I think you're gonna love it. Now, I actually do, seriously, I was excited to get this, but I Am don't Am I know. gonna like it or no? This is for you. This is, well, it's a gift to me that I'm gonna have for you. Is it a picture of you? You can never have too many pictures of me. But seriously, this is actually pretty dope. Check this out. I actually saw it on Instagram. Don't be afraid. <laughs> I'm always afraid. <laughs> Take a look at that. <laughs> you don't like? No, it's actually. It's he beautiful. Drew this? Yes. This is beautiful, dude. This is like super, super nice. Yeah, that's awesome. That so I want you to put this right by your bed. <laughs> our bed? Yeah, yeah. Our, my own broom well, bed. Well, I'm moving out. <laughs> okay. Guess what? I'm moving out. <laughs> but I left you a picture. But I left you a picture. No, but it's really cool. Seriously, Dreamscape Dragon. Give them a follow on Instagram. Uh, absolutely wonderful. I appreciate you. And uh, wow, yeah. that's pretty cool. I think that's actually awesome. Baby Kush looks absolutely amazing. Yeah. The whole Definitely thing, dude. Look at the glove, the textures, everything. I know. Yeah. This is crazy. Wow. That's, awesome. That's impressive. Super, super talented. Thank you so much, seriously. Hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, do me a favor. Right over here is a playlist. You can just watch one or two of those. Helps me a tremendous amount. On this side, do me another favor. Hit that subscription button. Please have an absolutely wonderful day, Reptile Army. Remember, be kind to someone, and I promise I'll see you tomorrow.